Hey, happy Monday morning to everyone. Hope everybody is well today. Hey, I'm Paul Apollonia. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay for last week, uh, January 25th to January 31st, 2021. Again, hey, hope everybody's well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, rained pretty much all weekend here, but uh, had lots of stuff to do inside. Sales were okay last week. Could have been better. Uh, thankfully, I had a few side things going on. Um, didn't do any headlights last week. I actually helped um, a few people move some things around their house. So it was uh, nothing uh, huge money makers for the side stuff, but it was uh, pretty good. So let's uh, get going here on uh, what I sold. Like I said, I've got a whole plethora of different things I sold. I'm not going to bore you um, with showing you the same thing over and over again. I saw a lot of uh, multiples of the same. So uh, let's get going here. I do a lot of uh, consignment, um, a lot of um, parting out of items, and a lot of stuff I just look and go, mm, I could probably sell that. Like, for example, this uh, Wonder Woman 84 uh, tin that my wife's uh, boss invited us, the whole group, they rented a whole movie theater out to see the, uh, the movie a couple weeks ago, and I saw these tins at the concession stand, and I went... Hmm. Let me uh, look those up while the movie's going on. <laughs> and I did. I didn't make a whole lot of money on this. I made about $11 on this, but hey, it paid for the um, the drink and the soda. I uh, put this in a 12, I think it fit in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And I just lined it with uh, those air pillow things. Um, which I've got so many of those air, air pillow things. I actually, I'm not a huge fan of them, but people constantly give me air pillows. So I um, filled up with that, shipped it out. It went out at like just about over, it was like a pound and pound and a half, if that. And it got to the person within uh, two days. The post office seems like it's back on track now with delivering, which is uh, wonderful. I take all my pictures with my phone. And I use a combination of the um, eBay app and the desktop version of eBay. Take all sides of the item. There were no dents or anything on this. And like I said, I'm sure this is fine. He got it at the beginning of last. He got it like, or she or whatever. They got it, gosh, within two days. So I'm sure there was a problem with it. They would let me know. I always make sure there was weird category had like no condition field. So I put some stuff up there in a condition description. I tried to use as many item specifics as I could. There wasn't too many to pick from or try and create. Uh, descriptions are pretty short and sweet with me. I try and put the dimensions of stuff down so people know how big this stuff is. All right, let's go to the next item. I do a lot of, um, what I say, consignment and uh, parting out of items. And like I said, I find different things that, uh, that I think I'll sell. I'll also tell you how I got the item too. These are obviously fan blades. There's a there's a thrift store still there. It's a um, what's that? Habitat for Humanity um, thrift store, and they used to have um, free uh, stuff in, in in shopping carts when you went in, and you could see them from a distance. I would get gas next door and see these carts, and run over and see what they had. And they always seem to have a lot of fan blades. Excuse me for a second. So I'd grab them. This is a free item. And I'd list them on eBay. Take me a few minutes to list them, about two minutes to pack and ship it. And I'd average about $12 to $16, all depends where they were being shipped. Profit in my pocket for a free item. I get a lot of stuff for free. A lot of people give me stuff. Um, most of my sales range between almost nothing <laughs> to about $30 this is about my sweet spot. I do get those gems. I'll show you a gem here. I sold last week that my wife couldn't believe I sold it. That are hundred, 200, $300, but those are far and few between. Like I said, $20, $30 is my sweet spot for selling stuff. Here's a gem right here. Here's one of them. This is a consignment item from a gentleman that was closing down his father's uh, repair shop last year. I still have tons of his stuff left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest with you. 
a lot of parts that are just not selling. Um, so I get half of this. Um, no, I get 40% of that. I'm sorry. Anything above, uh, anything below $100 value, I get 50%. Anything from 100 to 200, I get 40. And it goes, my percentage goes down after that. Um, so I get 40% of that, which is a good deal. Keep your eye out on repair manuals. They are really hot items. People still buy these manuals. Mechanics still want these. This, believe it or not, went media mail, which is probably the slowest route to take anything. And it got to California within two days. I, I was like blown away. So I don't know what's up at the post office. But that was a good sale. Um, again, I try and take all pictures of the individual ones. Um, did I do the sides? I may have done the sides. I get real anal with these things. Yeah, see, so people see the damage on the sides when I'm selling books. Uh, there's some money in books on eBay, selling books on eBay. I kind of like selling books on eBay because you can do 12 pictures if you need. Not like Amazon, you only rely to one. Uh, this is another consignment item. Uh, I've told you a story a thousand times. That make friends with people that are in your industry other consigners, other uh, resale people, whatever, if they're willing to be friends with you. Well, not friends, but, you know, colleagues, you know, business relationships. Um, I met a gentleman years ago. He came to my meetup, uh, Trader Chris out in Pittsburgh. Uh, he does uh, consignment. He does high-end consignment, like huge, like like high-end estate stuff and jewelry. And I have no desire to do that kind of stuff. And he knows what I do. I do kind of, not the lower end stuff, but the everyday things. And he sent this guy to me. And it's been a great relationship. I've known this guy since November now. This water pick salesman, old water pick salesman, he's not doing that anymore. And he's got a garage full and a basement full of stuff. And I go and get a van full every couple of weeks and we sell it. Uh, not high end stuff, but um, the volume is uh, is there. So I'll take it. I made half of that. Uh, another uh, water pick uh, filter, half of that. See, not that much money, but again, it goes into a poly envelope, uh, goes out first class. I make a little bit of money on shipping. Yes, I normally do the flat rate shipping. Uh, sometimes I make a little money. Sometimes I lose a little money. Sometimes I make a lot of money. Sometimes I lose a lot of money. Um, I just prefer doing flat. It, it, it works for me. Um, I rarely ever have a problem with people complaining about the price of shipping. Uh, cigar boxes I sold. I'm not going to show you the ones I sold this week. I sold a total of five, but I think I sold six. Uh, for a total of around $39 profit in my pocket. I get these at the wine cigar store. Most places just give these away. I would not pay any more than a dollar a cigar box. If you're going to buy them, because the profit is not in these. One thing I like about these is I go, I'm a cigar smoker, I buy a cigar to look, hey, they got boxes, look over them. I know exactly which ones sell now, grab them, see you, bye bye, take them home. I usually have a one already out there or one I've sold, so I do a sell similar uh, read list. I do take new pictures, new pictures, <laughs> not new pictures, new pictures. <laughs> of the box, um, <clears throat> of the new box listed. And I average about five to $7 on these, not a big time sale, but uh, they seem like they're selling, selling a whole bunch of them this week and last week. I don't know. I guess crafters are using these things. A lot of people use these things for all different things. They make guitars out of them. Pretty interesting what they do with them. <clears throat> this I found, uh, sitting next to a dumpster about a month and a half ago. Um, I was, I looked at it, wow, it's a Callaway club. Look at that. Excuse me. It's a Callaway club. Oh my gosh, I'll get big bucks for this. Hang on. Tried my best to take the best picture I could. It's so freaking long. It was like 42 inches long. But look at the top. The top's all faded. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what somebody did. I have no idea. But I figured... Yeah, I'll sell it anyway the way it is. It's a right-handed club. I'm a lefty. I can't use this because it's right-handed. Took the best pictures I could. Showed all the damage. Here. 
showed all the damage. I don't know what, I don't know what, I have no idea what happened to this thing. Um, I don't know. It was sitting next to the dumpster. It, <laughs> I figured what the heck, but see how I took all the pictures, took the picture of the tag that was on there so people know what it is. That, the grip. Um, I sold it for this. It went UPS. I think it was $13 or something like that. I didn't make a whole lot of money on this, but again, I got it for free. I went, ooh, there's a golf club. I took pictures of it, shipped it. How did I ship it? I used a big piece of cardboard and just rolled it basically in the cardboard, taped the both ends up real tight so they were tight. And that's how I shipped it. It was real long. Uh, the post office, this was going out somewhere out west, I forget, Midwest. The post office wanted a fortune to ship this. Uh, UPS is now available in eBay. When you look at your shipping, you'll see the option for UPS, which is great. They have been coming under the cost of even FedEx anymore for some of the larger items, which is great. Uh, the guy messaged me a couple days after I sold it to him. I was like, oh, no. But he just wanted to know how it got faded. And I told him, he goes, he's going to, um, I don't know, repaint it or powder coat it or something. I don't know what he's planning on doing with it. <clears throat> Got all the, here's one with a lot of item specifics in it. I actually pulled this off of another listing that I found. Um, another water pick filter. I meant to take this out and just, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, another $6 uh, from the same uh, consignment deal. The Hunter guy, thermostat seemed to either sell a whole bunch or they sit. Um, selling probably about two or three days a week, I guess now. Was it a change of season? It seems like every time it's a change of seasons, I'm selling thermostats. These are extremely old thermostats. Where's the date at? The date should be in here somewhere. Well, I don't see it. These are going into the 90s, how old these thermostats are. So, um, but they do sell, they are new, but old stock. Notice what I do here, new old stock. And I give the, the description of what I believe new old stock is. New been sitting around for a long time, which is true. Um, other specifics are very, very, very important when you're doing your listings. Uh, eBay loves them and Google loves them. When you're doing them, always try and use something from the pull down menu from each option. Those are the ones people searched on. What else can I tell you about this item? Now, I don't know. I think that's about it. These go out at about $8. Uh, still under uh, a pound. And if they're over a pound, I put them into a regional A box, the big long box. Slide it right in. I don't even put any packing material in those boxes. I just slide it in there, seal it, and it's gone. Uh, dishwasher rack. I love parting out dishwashers. There's lots of money in dishwashers. The only problem with dishwashers is the racks can take up a lot of room in your inventory. Um, and I'm actually kind of thinking about just parting out dishwashers and only going after the control board, the timers, <clears throat> and other small things. Because, I mean, the mo there's money in the racks. I mean, here's $64.99. I did free shipping. Uh, this sat in my store for probably four months, so it's taken up inventory room. Um, it's my dog scratching at me, excuse me. <laughs> um, it's taken up room in inventory. There were some issues with it, but I also, whenever there's any kind of issues with anything, I always start off with please read and please read even in the title. I know it's taking up valuable space for keywords but I want to make sure people know what's going on. And I'll show you this condition description down here. Actually, let's go all the way down here because I even have the same thing in my description. Um, rackets in good shape, some minor rust on tips of tines. I put gray rubber tips on the tines. I didn't have any white ones at the time. Um, and here they are. Let me show you the little tines. Uh, I am working, again, I say this every week, I'm so sorry. I've almost got this course done. I'm still editing these silly videos. It takes forever to edit the videos. I'm uh, editing the videos for my uh, dishwasher, uh, parting out of dishwashers 
to sell on eBay. Uh, I, I've done the course. I'm just editing them. I know I've, I've said this forever. I'm, I'm truly sorry it's taking me forever to get this done. But there are the caps I put on there. And I threw a couple extra caps in there, too, on a piece of, in a bag. They're cheap enough. I get like 100 of them for, I don't know, $7 or something or whatever. Um, but the racks do take up a lot of room. Just just realize that uh, you can sell them with damage. I've sold them with, with worse damage than what's on this one. But like I said, I'm seriously thinking about just going to um, just taking out the control board, the soap dispenser, and um, and other small items off the dishwasher instead of the racks. So it just takes up so much room. I must have 10 of these racks now, and it's just it, it, it's just taking up too much room in my inventory. But there is money in there. I think it cost me $18 to ship it. How did I ship it? I have a video out there in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel where, um, <clears throat> excuse me, where I take a box from uh, Low Sum Improvement, a medium heavy duty box, and I cut it open, flip it around, and basically wrap it, fold it around, and then just wrap it like a gift and tape the living heck out of it is how I ship those. Here's the gem of the week. I bought this in 2013 for 20, here's the price tag still on my desk, $24.99. This is unopened, sealed. This is basically a CD set of the music you hear as you're walking around Disney and Epcot as you know, you're walking down the trails or the paths and that music you hear coming out of the speakers. I've always been wanting it. I bought it. I even have the cassette version of this, believe it or not, that I bought way back in the 90s. I don't know where it's at. I'm sure that's worth a lot of money, too. I don't think I ever listened to that either. So I found this in my CD collection a couple weeks ago, and I thought, what the heck? So I looked it up, and man, oh, man, if they weren't going for it, for $124.99 down to $89, I thought, I'm pricing the $124.99. At this point, my profit is, I mean, you know, I mean, my $24.99, that's, 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 that's gone. I did do free shipping. Um, I did ship it out media mail. It is almost to the person's home now. It's been two days. Um, I probably should have shipped it out priority, but I wanted to save some money. And I did insure it via media, media mail. Yeah, media mail. Um, I do have clearly stated I bought this 2013, never open. It stores CD rock climbing. It is factory sealed. The seal was broken. I cannot take the return because it's not going to be in a condition. Now, yeah, somebody can still return it, and I'll still have to eat the return, but hopefully that will <laughs> scare somebody off. But that is my gem of the week. Keep your eyes out for these things. Even used, they're going for $89, $79, $69 in that price range. Two CDs. I don't know what the desire is on these. I don't care. But uh, that was my gem of the week and those manuals. Uh, this is something I had in my store for three years 2018 three years bought this at a thrift store i don't even know what i paid for this thing to be honest with you um i lowered the price twice so i'm sure i lost money on this at this point i didn't make much money i made 20 dollars after i shipped it it went somewhere out west and it went uh ups again beat out fedex fedex used to be pretty cheap ups is uh, showing them up i uh telescope too small Lowe's Home Improvement Boxes, not the heavy-duty ones, just the regular ones, because it didn't have any heavy-duty ones. Um, made one, and I just put the other one on top, threw this in there, and I did put uh, all the all these things inside, and um, just put a bunch of air pillows in there again, just to make it so it's not making noise. I think it cost me more than $23.99 to ship this thing, to be honest with you. But it's gone. Another big item gone. I love when I sell big items because it gets it out. This is a free item I got from, uh, I'm a ham radio operator, N3 GCA, amateur radio operator. <clears throat> um, go to HamFest just to buy stuff to resell on eBay and found this in the free bin. Um, didn't make a whole lot of money on this. Made actually $2 on this when all was said and done, but all I did was... Grabbed my stuff in the free bin, took it home, lined it up, took pictures, listed it, took a few, two minutes to list and whatever, and it's gone. It's out. It's a sale. It's fine. I'm not thrilled with $2, but hey, it was a sale. It sold within an hour, actually. 
another thing from the free bin. Did not make a lot of money on this either. Um, made, uh, I think, $1.75 on this. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Watch out, hundred and from $1.75 to $124 sale. It's a story of my life. Uh, knobs sell well. These uh, were in my store for a year and a half. Um, I did find them, though. That was good in my inventory. Uh, went out first class. I think I made uh, $14 on these, $13.99, so that was good. Um, I had one thing happen to me uh, last, uh, last, not the other day, Saturday, that I want to bring to your attention. Let me show my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry. This is my uh, sort of how it sorts today. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you've seen here. Uh, not too many subscribers here, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. 560, you guys mean the world to me. So back to what I experienced Saturday. I sold something Saturday, two duck decoys uh, that I knew I didn't have, and I knew I took the listing down. I got a whole bunch of duck decoys from a, a barn that was being torn down. Somebody told me, come up quick and run through this barn they're going to tear down tomorrow so i got tons gosh i must have made two thousand dollars off the stuff i pulled out of that barn in one day um and i sold a bunch of duck decoys but all at once and i had these two other ones i forgot to put in uh i forgot to put in a listing so i sold those and then the same listing popped up saturday that somebody bought four of the two duck listings and i was like what the heck so I've uh, never, um, I haven't had that happen to me in a long time, not never. Some people call it an eBay ghost listing. Sometimes stuff gets relisted on eBay for some reason. So it's always best to go and check your listings, make sure they're ended. That was really, really odd. The person totally understood. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get dinged for that or not. Um, I did, thankfully, the person had eBay experience because I had over 2,000 feedback. So I'm assuming they have a lot of eBay experience. And I explained to them what it was. It's what they call sometimes a ghost listing, and sometimes it happens. So I'm hoping I don't get dinged on it because if you don't have the, if you sell the item, you don't have it. eBay gets a wee bit cranky. So remember that. So that's about it for the week. I want to thank you again for watching. I appreciate every one of you watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, uh, check out all the links below. I offer you know, eBay training course. I think it's still on special. If that link is not working properly, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. There's something weird with the key. That, uh, that I've got set up and I got to keep on changing it. But I am offering that for a dollar. It's a $97 course. It is an older series. Uh, Martin Brossman and myself did it about three or four years ago. Uh, it is evergreen, which means there's still a lot of great tips for you guys to even use today. Um, I do a lot of consignment. I do a lot of training on Zoom. Um, just to let me know if you need any help. Leave me a message, contact me. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Stay warm out there. It's a little chilly. I know the Northeast is getting plummeted with snow today. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.